Hello everyone, welcome to another video of FFL247. Today we are going to be taking a look at this beautiful 2024 Dodge Durango SRT Hellcat Blacktop Edition. So just by taking a look at this front aggressive looking grille design, this SUV just stands out in the crowd. This dual combination of traditional halogen and uh, LED headlamps are giving this SUV an even more aggressive look. When you look at this beast coming for you in the back rear view mirror, this is going to be even better. So you have this SRT logo on this front grille design, which is a newly redesigned on this model. And just take a look at this ground clearance, which is very excellent. And on the front, you have this Mopar, a dual tone, a two stripe design that just uh, uh, goes across this uh, tiger nose grill of, of the front hood, uh, packing this uh, powerful Hemi engine that is a 6.2 liter supercharged SRT engine. And you are taking a look at the beautiful 20 inches machine wheels with all season tires, and you are getting 8 speed auto transmission. Yeah. And you have this SRT logo on both sides of your SUV and the side mirrors are pretty traditional or nothing uh, fancy but they are giving you and coming with the blind spot alert. So this is the premium looking interior that we will be taking a look in a little bit. So let's just take a quick look of the exterior of this uh, beautiful SUV. I love this uh, SRT red Brembo brakes with two piece front rotor design. So and we are getting this SRT beautiful logo in the center of your wheels. So let's just go around the back. So you have these uh, traditional looking uh, back LED lights. And I think this uh, design that now everyone started copy Dodge was one of the very first one to come up with this beautiful a seamless LED back lights design. We have this beautiful SRT logo on the back side of your SUV on the right and on the left you are getting the Durango and two stripes logo. So let's take a look and see how much uh, storage we have in the background. So you can easily open this with the press of this button. It is all electronic and it just opens right back up. And this is the trunk space you are going to be getting even with the third row seats up. So a little disappointment, so Dodge and Jeep, they don't put the uh, close button on the top of your uh, back hood. So what they do is they put it on the side, if you guys can see. So let's open this uh, lid. Uh, they have a little bit of storage in here that I want to show you guys. So this is what you will be getting in addition to the trunk storage. So it's uh, something at least to consider, so not bad and you can close the trunk with the press of this button on the side and you, it's a little bit uh, difficult in darkness when you are trying to locate this button. So nevertheless still beautiful uh, SUV and that uh, two stripe Mopar logo comes all the way on the back. So these are the beautiful looking headlights so I am very excited to check the interior of this beautiful SUV so let's go ahead and take a look what we are going to be checking. So just showing you the blind spot alerts of the side mirrors and that is going to be your interior tour so let's go ahead and get it started. So you are getting the keyless entry so you as you open the door so it's a pretty simplistic design you have this soft touch leather uh, plastic and material and very high uh, quality chrome uh, door knobs and you're getting those memory seating adjustment you have your speakers on the door and you have some standard controls for your windows and side mirrors door unlock and unlock you have this soft touch leather for your armrest the driver's side seats are also electronically adjustable you have this lumbar support and electronically adjustable height and your back rest and you're getting this beautiful supercharger logo still played at the bottom so there's a look at your interior of the of the big SUV, the, the SRT steering wheel. So let's get ourselves actually set up inside the car and see what we have in store. So this is the beautiful SRT steering wheel that we are looking at with excellent sporty look and the good grip that it is providing so let me actually adjust this this seat for myself so i'm 511 the reason i'm doing this is i want to check out how much leg room i will have to the back seat so that's a this is about the right size for my driving so the steering wheel definitely has a very soft touch leather and it is also heated as you can notice your standard controls for your driver modes your cruise control 
and your audio controls are on the left side. We have your headlight controls in here. And the steering wheel is also electronically adjustable, if you guys can notice. So this is actually a very good feature. Air conditioning vents, it definitely feels like very premium. This button seems like it's a cheap quality. I mean, that just by holding it does not uh, feel like very sturdy to me. But uh, we'll give it a pass. Otherwise, a very premium air vents. And that is your driver's console that you're getting. Obviously, we don't have the key right now. And this is the big center LED screen that we're getting. You have your air conditioning vents on both sides. And very impressed that they still managed to give you physical controls for all your air conditioning modes. So you have dual climate controls on both sides for both passengers and the front seats are heated and ventilated so that is awesome. You are getting regular USB-C and USB charging in here. You also have your cell phone charging in here. This is also some storage. I'm not sure what exactly you can store here for. That is your gear shift control. So some standard two cup holders. And let's check out how much room we have in this center storage console. So this is pretty decent as standard for this a medium luxury SUV. So this is still a three row SUV and I think this is a very decent size storage. You have this 12 volt outlet charging in here as well. So I don't see any USB-C charging or USB charging inside, but uh, that is understandable. And there are also some extra storage in here to put your cell phone, for example. Looking at the seats, seats are definitely very premium quality leather with the stitching and attention paid to all the details. You are getting this SRT logo on the back of the seat. And again, the seats are heated and ventilated very premium feel to this level and very soft uh, headrest again you're getting ventilated seated seats for both passenger and the driver side and apparently looks like uh, the back uh, passenger seats are also heated and ventilated but we will be checking that out in a bit looking at the side door for the passenger side and not a whole lot going on just the standard window controls and looking at your air conditioning vent they have some carbon fiber touch going on in here and you have this uh, soft touch leather and then going to this carbon fiber and this uh, premium leather touch so let's open this uh, storage console so this is not a whole lot big but uh, definitely decent size to store your books and some of your tools and on the top you are getting those uh, standard controls for your uh, sunroof so this is just coming with the sunroof not a, not a full moon roof so that's just a view of the back seats on the front. So we will be checking out the leg room all the way to the back seats so just uh, in a bit. So that's giving you an overview. So that was about the front uh, driver and passenger side of the vehicle. So let's go ahead and check out how much uh, stuff we have in the back. So let's go ahead and check the back passenger seating area. Again, looking at the side doors, very simplistic. It's kind of a mixed feeling. I mean, you don't hate it and you don't like it. It's a kind of like that. Very simple. So you're just getting the window controls in here. The storage space is good for a bottle of water, but nothing else. So the seats looks like they, they are not movable or reclinable. But this lever, obviously, you can use to get access to the third row seating area. So, but uh, one thing to point out is they managed to give you the same premium leather seatings in the back with the same stitching, same soft touch, premium leather, and heated and ventilated seats for back passengers as well. So, let's go ahead and check out how much legroom we have for the back passengers. Okay, so I can easily settle myself in. If you guys can see, uh, I have a little bit of leg room still in front of my legs. So the way they designed these uh, front seats is this area is a little bit of curve like this, giving you more uh, room uh, in towards your knee area. 
but the, the legroom is not a whole lot. Uh, one thing to is a little bit disappointing is that this area at the bottom is a little bit hard. So if I hit my legs in here, it's definitely uh, not a precise scent feel. That's just the back passenger seating area. Again, the same premium leather seatings with the SRT logo. And in the center, it's like captain seating area. So you're getting two cup holders in here. Climate control for the back passengers. So nothing fancy, just the air vents because the controls you have is uh, actually on the top. So you can uh, adjust uh, the, the heating and cooling more from the top. And your air vents are actually at the bottom. So this is an expensive SUV. The MSRP is around 100K for this vehicle. So you're getting those two cup holders in here. Let's check out how big the armors are. So they're not a whole lot of wider. If you guys see, so my uh, arm is sliding across these armrests, so not very impressive, but it's still if good for some, some support. And that is your third row seating that we are going to be checking out next. So let's go ahead and check out how we can actually get ourselves settled in the third row seating. So you can easily press this lever and the seat will come down comes down like this and then you have this uh, string that you can pull and the seat moves out of the way. So this is actually giving a whole lot of white space to get access into the third row. So just the way you're looking at it, so it feels like there is a decent amount of leg room in here. So let's go ahead and check it out actually. So it did not take me a whole lot of effort to get into the third seat. As you guys can notice that I was talking and getting into the third row seating. So it did not take a lot of effort to get inside because there is a whole lot of wide room to get access into this third row. And again, uh, sitting in this third row, my knees are actually not very high. Definitely some questions about the leg room because my knees are touching this front passenger seats. And again, uh, for the front passenger seats also, I don't have a whole lot of leg room in there, if you notice. So this uh, seat is perfectly adjustable for the front uh, second row passengers and for the third row this is the leg room I am getting. My knees are touching the seat of the front and I am 5'11 so that is the leg room you are getting. And very simplistic in the third row as well. All you are getting is this cup holder and no charging for your phones. Some more vents uh, going on in here for the third row passengers to give them some fresh air. Some light controls. And one thing is uh, the, this leather for the third row does not seem like the same quality, but uh, definitely some premium stuff going on. So since they have this perforated leather, so I am curious to know if these are also heated and ventilated six. Not 100% sure they would give you those that option in third row, but something to keep an eye on. So that's just giving you an overall look from the, all the way from the third row. Your second row seatings and your driver and passenger side. This is your SRT, Dodge Durango. So let's see how we can get out. Again, so I was able to get out uh, of this third row in a matter of seconds maybe, so that did not take a lot of effort. So a kind of impressive legroom in this uh, range here SUV. Similar. So that, ladies and gentlemen, was a quick tour of this beautiful uh, Durango SRT Hellcat Blacktop Edition. The MSRP for this SUV is 93605 if you want to own one of them. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.